Hey, Rays of Sunshine, it's Evelina of Evergreen Art Dolls, and I'm outside today filming because it just feels so good. It's been raining here a ton, but it's finally calmed down, and it's a really nice day, not too hot, and so I decided to just come out here and film. This is a doll that is sort of nature-themed anyway. She has a bunch of, it's just nature, like a whole nature vibe with all the uh, forest animals and creatures and stuff that we're going to be taking a look at. So my friend Ayla Avar already um, unboxed this doll, so check out her video. She beat me to it, but we both ordered, I think on the same day from Amazon. This playset was only $10 on Amazon, and it's originally $25 or $26 at Walmart. So I took a look at this set. Um, I went through um my not my local walmart but a walmart that's a little further off that i don't go to very often um i went there to just browse the aisles and see what they had in the toy and doll aisle and i saw this set and thought about getting it but i just didn't want to pay the 25 dollars so it was great that i was able to find it on amazon thanks to miss irene over at irene huff's doll space so i will link her channel in the description of this video as well but yeah, she pointed out to us in a group chat that we're all in that this doll was on sale on Amazon. So thanks to her, I was able to get this doll and the extras at only 10 or I think 10 or $11, something but like yeah, that. I'm really happy about that. And I'm excited to check out the fun little extras and get out these critters that I was really excited about. The doll is super pretty. So Asha from the movie Wish, and I heard that this movie was a flop, you guys. Um, one of you actually commented on the video I did when I was in Walmart that this video wasn't, you know, it just didn't have good ratings and everything. And um, I thought it was good. Um, the music, um, Ayla and I both agree that the music isn't the best from this movie i don't think it is personally but um the movie itself i thought was actually pretty good it was really sweet my favorite part of the whole movie though you guys was the star um the wishing star he was just absolutely precious so so yeah he was my favorite part if you haven't seen it it's worth a watch i think it's a really cute movie and if you guys have already watched it, let me know what you think about it in the comments as well. But let's go ahead and check out this little place. This, just the packaging is beautiful. Like all of the packaging for these Wish, um, the Wish dolls and characters and everything is so nice. Like it has like a astrological vibe to me and um, whimsical and just very like foresty vibe. I just woodland vibe. I just love it. Um, check out the back, you guys. I'm definitely cutting this out and saving it for something. I'm not sure what yet, but look, all the little critters look so happy and they're just frolicking. Like I just love it. It's so sweet. And so it says this is a Woodland Animals of Rosa Surprise set and from Disney Wish. And this was the first movie, I believe, that came out from Disney as sort of like a celebration of their 100th uh, year. So Disney is 100 years old. So this movie came out and the star um, is actually the star from like, I think, Pinocchio and uh, Tiana, the Princess and the Frog. So, you know, like how there's like a star in those movies that like like they wish on so this is actually the star kind of coming to life um in this movie for the first time i believe but yeah really pretty packaging um i'm gonna try to recycle as much of this as i can this is just so cute but um we're going to kind of destroy it when we go in to get all the critters out so let's get um yeah let's get all the little animals out first and then we'll check out the doll last so let's just start from the top okay so first things first we have the star and I really wanted a star, which I actually also ordered the star. Wait. Okay, I told my husband to order the star for me. There was a star necklace that was like $5 on Amazon, the same price as it was at Walmart. But he might not have ordered that for me, actually. But um, I have to check on that. But this is the little star. And he's winking. So really cute. He's kind of transparent. So that's the first little extra that we get and then let's 
check out the next one. All right, so we get the bird. Pretty little kind of pastel blue bird or baby blue bird. And it can go around the doll's arm. So really cute. And then let's see. The next door. And I've never opened anything like this before. It reminds me of sort of like an advent calendar or nail. I know those um, ad adorables, adorables are really popular. Um, I have never done that before so this is a new a new kind of thing but i think it's fun and this one is so cute a cute little bunny adorable and like ayla said on her unboxing she said she would paint the tail white and i think that's a great idea i think i might do the same thing so just to add a little bit more something something to the little figure but adorable so cute look at the little face Oh, the teeth need some white as well, and maybe the little whiskers. Super cute little figures. And yeah, that's why I think this set is definitely worth $10 with all the little extras that I can use for like um, props for doll photography and all. I think that's a great deal for sure. And then we have the little turtle, which I think was one of her favorites. <laughs> he looks so smug. Look at him. So yeah, cute little turtle. And then let's check this one. So here is the basket. That's very nice. I can definitely use this for um, like not just this doll, but any doll that I have. It'll make an awesome prop. I really love baskets as doll props. If you guys are uh, followers of the channel, you know that I really love baskets. So and um, I can probably bedazzle this one too a little bit. Um, Ayla mentioned that she was going to probably do like a marker paint job around it to add some detail. I, I think I'll probably actually add, hmm, I was thinking about maybe adding some yarn or actual like thin rope around here to make it look more realistic. I don't know. I could actually probably do the whole thing. Um, yeah, it could definitely use a little bit more detail. Sorry, you guys, the sun is starting to move around and not make the lighting the best, but we will work with it. And then let's go over here. We'll save the big door for last. So here we have a little chipmunk. Super sweet. I actually have chipmunks underneath this porch where I'm filming at right now. Um, Ayla mentioned that her husband's out there and they don't really care. But the ones out here, yeah, they're they're very skittish and just run away as soon as like someone comes out here. And um, which is a shame because I would love to watch them because they're so cute. But yeah, the little chipmunk. And then let's see. Okay, this bunny is a little bit harder to get out. Okay, so that one did not want to come out at all. I had to struggle with that one. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is a little brown bunny. That's the same as this little gray one right here. This one reminds me of Thumper from Bambi. And this one, I just love brown bunnies. I think they're the cutest. So, And I'll probably paint more detail on these as well probably add some pink to the insides of the ears and then that um, white tail to this as well to both of them just for a little a little bit more detail let's see aren't they sweet adorable and then let's see so we went through, we got that one already let's keep all the doors open and then the last one is this big door right here which I already know is the deer Ta -da. okay let's get this one this is what I was really wanting 
I love deer and I collect a bunch of deer figures and just merch and stuff. Deer are just so cute. I have um, like my workspace. A good portion of it is decorate like sort of like a deer theme and um, I live in a deer county where we have a deer festival every year and they're just heavy populated around this area as you see I have a lot of uh, f there's a lot of forested area where I live so we have a bunch of deer and deer are just so elegant and just so adorable I love deer so much so, so this is a really really cute one to add to my little collection because it's not that often that you find uh, deer figures like cute little deer figures just out there so I'm glad to have this one I wish they didn't put the spaces I didn't realize that um, previously when I saw this like that there are like some hollow little spaces in between the legs I don't know why they had to do that I don't know why they just didn't fill those in completely but I like the spots but definitely going to add some paint to this as well like in the inner ears just to make it look a little bit more like the picture right there so as you see, it has some different colors in there. So I'll probably add some coloring inside the ears and on the belly and everything, but really cute figure to play around with. Really sweet. Okay. And then now let's check out the doll. So I'll go ahead and get her out and then come right back. Okay, so I'm back and here is the doll with her bird who just kind of wants to hang like a bat instead of a bird because this is not <laughs> doesn't seem to be tight enough on her wrist so there's that I don't know if like the different birds are like different like maybe some of them um, are tighter and will fit better around the doll's wrist but yeah that one just wants to hang like a bat but anyways um so my thoughts on the doll Starting from the head, the hair, I love. Um, it's an itty bitty tiny little micro braids. I like how they have the brown and the black kind of intertwined. It's really pretty. I actually would love my hair to be, like I'm gonna get braids soon, so I will probably try to add a little bit of this brown color in because it's really pretty and super soft. So the quality of the hair is great. I love the corn rolls she has on the side and the baby hair painted on right there. Really pretty. She's just a pretty doll and a pretty character in the movie. I just think she's super cute. Love her freckles and her expression and her animated like face and everything. Her eyes are pixelated though, but they're these brown, this nice brown color. Her dress is really pretty. Nice little, um, nice little dress, very simple. It's just printed on right here. Um, Got her little belt and i've seen um like my froggy stuff i think is a channel that they kind of just um brought out the details on the belt with some gold paint so i might do the same thing but yeah really nice doll and i also wanted her you guys because i think i actually might use her in my next dress like a doll challenge in october so um i might try to do a cosplay of her i don't have freckles but um i think i can use some make that makeup and make that happen but um yeah, I think she'll be a fun little cosplay. So um, that's also why I wanted the doll. Also, let's check out her shoes. So I didn't take off the little elastics, but she has a really pretty ankle bracelet and some like deep purple little flats there. She's flat footed and yeah, so really cute doll not much to her though there's not any articulation but I can change her if I want to I've seen a lot of people like change the dolls and put their heads on made to move bodies so I will probably do that but for now she's fine as is I think one of her uh oh so one of her braids is defunctled right there but I have to fix that but yeah really pretty doll absolutely love her face her big ears eyes and just her um, like how similar she is to the character in the movie they did a really good job representing that so so yeah so there is my unboxing and review of this little Disney wish set 
And like I said, I'm going to try to recycle as much of the box as possible. Okay, I don't think she's going to stand for me um, right now. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.